Hi, this is the video about uh, the interview preparation, MapReduce uh, interview questions and answers. This video contains usually uh, the questions asked uh, for Hadoop MapReduce questions and answer which will make you more confident while going through the interview. Hope these uh, Hadoop MapReduce questions will assist you to get selected in Hadoop interview. So let's move on to the first question. What is MapReduce? For processing large sets of data in parallel across the Hadoop cluster, Hadoop MapReduce framework is used. Data analysis is uses two-step map and reduce process. So the data analysis uses a two-step process that is map and reduce. Hadoop MapReduce uh, is one of the software structured application or effectively writing an application for preparing a large amount of information in parallel or on a vast cluster of a commodity. As it deals with preparing the data, it is probably going to ask in Hadoop MapReduce interview questions and there is, uh, so this is uh, what ha I have given a simple definition on MapReduce. The second one, how the MapReduce work? The MapReduce framework is the map and reduce task. In the map operation, the data is split and mapped into different nodes for processing. In reduce task, the process data is shuffled using shuffle and sorted using sort and reduced using the reducer. So, is it, so this is a simple function of MapReduce. What are the main configuration parameters are specified in MapReduce? The MapReduce programmers need to specify following configuration parameters to perform the map and reduce jobs. First one is the input location of the job in HDFS, the output location of the job in HDFS, the inputs and outputs format, the classes containing map and reduce functions, and the, jar, the .jar file for mapper, reducer, and driver classes. Fourth question, what are the main components of MapReducer job? The main components of MapReduce job is main driver class, mapper class and reducer class. Main driver class is the main driver class provides the job configuration parameters. Mapper class is used for mapping purposes. Reducer class as the name suggests, it divides the data into splits. Next question, what is distributed cache, cache in MapReduce? The distributed cache in MapReduce framework is used to cache the files that are needed by the applications. It is used to cache read-only text files, archives, jar files, etc. Distributed cache provides many benefits such as storing complex data, eliminating a single point of failure and ensuring data consistency. Moving on to the next question, what is distributed cache in MapReduce? Distributed cache in Hadoop provides a mechanism to copy files, jars, or archives to the nodes where map and reduce tasks are running. Initially, the specified file is cached to HDFS. Once the task is about to run, node manager copies the cached file to the local disk of the node where the task is running. 
Earlier, distributed cache class methods were used to add files to distributed cache, but that whole class is deprecated now. The distributed cache is the service by MapReduce framework to cache the files when needed. Once a file is cached for a specific job, Hadoop will make it available on each data node both in system and memory where the map and reduce tasks are executing. Later, you can easily access the read and cache files and populate any collections in your code. The benefits of using distributed cache are it distributes simple read-only text data files or complex types like jars, archives and others. These archives are then unarchived at the slave node. Moving on to the next question, what are shuffling and sorting? Shuffling is the process of transferring the data. The transfer, it transfers the data from mappers to the reducers. The output data from the map is sent as input to the reducer. This process is necessary for the reducers or they would not have any input. Sorting operation sorts the keys generated by the mapper. It is done to easily distinguish when new task should start. When a new key is the sorted input data is different from the previous, then a new reduced task starts. Moving on to the next question, what is the default input type in MapReduce? The default input type in format in MapReduce is the text input format. It treats each line of the input file as a separate record. This format is useful for unformatted data or line based records like the log files. Other formats are key value text input format, file input format, etc. What is JobConf? JobConf is the Hadoop MapReduce primary interface used by the user to describe a MapReduce job to the Hadoop framework for execution. The job parameters set the job conf cannot be altered if they are marked final by the administrator. Also, some parameters in the job conf are easy to set while some parameters are relatively more complex for the user to control finally. You can also define other advanced facets of jobs such as comparators to be used files to be put in the distributed cache, etc. in the job conf. What is the heartbeat in HDFS? Heartbeat is the signal sent by the data node to the name node to indicate that it's alive. It is used to detect failures and ensure that the link between the two nodes intact. Moving on to the next question, what is a job tracker? A job tracker is a Hadoop service used for the processing of MapReduce jobs in the cluster. It submits and tracks the jobs to specific nodes having data. Only one job tracker runs on single Hadoop cluster on its own, that is JVM process. If job tracker goes down, all the job stops. Moving on to the next question, what are counters? The counters in the Hadoop MapReduce provides a way to measure the number of operations that occur in the MapReduce job. 
It is really useful in diagnosing the problem and gathering statistics about the MapReduce job. Counters are defined either by the MapReduce framework or the applications. Two types of counters are the built-in counters and user-defined counters. Each counter in the Hadoop has along for the value and is named by an enum. Moving on to the next question, what are combiners? A combiner or a semi-reducer is just an optional class in the MapReduce. It mainly summarizes the map output records with the same key. The compiler accepts the input from the map class. The output of the compiler will be sent over the network to the reducer task as the input. So the compiler works between the map and reduce class to reduce the amount of data transfer between them. For the combiner to work properly, the key value type should be the same between the mapper and the reducer class. Also, the combiner doesn't have a predefined interface as it implements the reduce method from the interface of the reducer. Moving on to the next question, what is scoop? Scoop is a command line interface application for transferring data between the relational databases and Hadoop. It's a simple tool designed to transfer the data between Hadoop and relational database servers. It is used to import data from the relational databases such as MySQL, Oracle to Hadoop HDFS and export from Hadoop file system to relational databases. And moving on to the next question, what happens when the data node fails? As large information processing is data and time, date and time delicate, there are backup processes if data node fails. Once a data node fails, another replication pipeline is made. The pipeline assumes the control over the composed procedure and resumes from where it fizzled. Name node, which continually watches if any of the blocks is under repeated, administers the entire procedure or not and that's are the interview questions for MapReduce and please share your thoughts and comments for this video and if you like this video don't forget to hit on thumbs up thank you for watching